an ancient machine mentioned in 440 BC may have helped in building the pyramids. One of the most important literary works in history mentions a machine that was used to build the pyramids. Hello everybody and welcome to the Constable. Please subscribe now to get the latest news on archaeology, ancient history, civilizations and world mythology. Without further ado, let's get started. Just how were the ancient Egyptian pyramids built? Using what tools or technology did these massive structures come to life? In 440 BC, Herodotus composed his greatest work, The Histories, a record of ancient traditions, polities, geography, and various cultures that were known in Western Asia, Northern Africa, and Greece. Among scholars, his work is considered one of the Western world's most important sources of history. Furthermore, Herodotus' work established the genuine and study of history in the West. Here are presented the results of the inquiry carried out by Herodotus of Halicarnassus. The purpose is to prevent the traces of human events from being erased and to preserve the fame of the important and remarkable achievements produced by both Greeks and non-Greeks. Among the matters covered is, in particular, the cause of the hostilities between Greeks and non-Greeks. Herodotus wrote the histories, dividing the content into nine books that appear in modern edition of his work. Ancient Egypt, the histories, and the pyramids. During ancient Egypt's third dynasty, specifically during the reign of Pharaoh Josa, ancient Egypt saw the birth of a new type of monument. Ancient Egypt saw the abrupt introduction of a type of building made of stone, rising to the sky like a stairway to the heavens. The Step Pyramids and its supermassive enclosure is believed to have been built within Joseph's 19-year reign from around 2630 to 2611 BC. The centerpiece of the pyramid's complex at Sakra was a step pyramid rising to the height of around 60 meters and containing 35,500 cubic meters of stones. Egyptologists argue that the first ancient Egyptian pyramid was built in stages, progressing from its initial shape of a square mastaba to its final six-step pyramid. Eventually, the bed of the step pyramid saw ancient Egyptian pharaohs continue to develop the shape, design, and complexity of monuments, and by the reign of Pharaoh Sneferu, the pyramid was redesigned in Egypt. Sneferu built three pyramids which effectively changed the way the pyramids were designed and built. The Red Pyramid of Sneferu, erected at the Royal Necropolis at Dashur, laid down the foundation for the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Regrettably, however, all these revolutionary structures appear entirely absent from written records of ancient Egypt. There is not one ancient Egyptian text that mentions the construction of one pyramid in ancient Egypt. Not one ancient text, drawing or hieroglyph mentions the construction of the first of the first pyramid. Just as there aren't any written record that explain how the great pyramids of Giza was built. This absence from history is one of the greatest mysteries relating to the ancient Egyptian pyramids. According to Egyptologist Ahmed Fakhri, the process of querying, transporting, and building the massive monument was an ordinary matter for the ancient Egyptians, the reason why they did not find them worthy of record. Eventually, though, with the rise of Khufu to the throne of ancient Egypt, the country began its most daring construction process in history, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Academics usually maintain that it was Khufu who was responsible for the commissioning of the Great Pyramid and that the structure was planned and designed by royal architect Heminu. It is usually believed that the pyramid was built in around 20 years. 
This is academic guesswork as there aren't any written sources that prove this as a fact. The Great Pyramid of Giza marked the peak of ancient Egyptian pyramid building and not one pyramid that followed after it managed to mimic its beauty, size and complexity. With a total volume of 2,583,283 cubic meters, the Great Pyramid is the third largest pyramid in terms of volume. Despite not being the largest, it is certainly the tallest. With its contemporary height of 138.8 meters, lacking its summit. The original height of the Great Pyramid is believed to have been 146.7 meters or 280 Egyptian royal cubits. The Great Pyramid of Giza is believed to contain around 2.3 million blocks of stone with a total volume of around 6.5 million tons. In terms of accuracy, the Great Pyramid is a mind-boggling structure. The base is level to within just 2.1 centimeters. The average deviation is about 3.5 of arc. The greatest difference in the length of the side is 4.4 cm. The reason behind such phenomenal precision remains an enigma for scholars. Although the belief such exactitude may have been inspired by a symbolic or cultic significance that now eludes us today. The builders of the pyramid constructed one of the largest, most precisely aligned and sophisticated pyramids on the surface of the planet and not one person saw the need to document the tremendous architectural achievements. Isn't that strange? In fact, around 2000 years after the construction of the pyramid, we see the appearance of the first literary source that mentioned one of the possible devices or machines used for the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid was built in steps, battlement-wise, as it is called, or, according to many others, altar-wise. After laying the stones for the base, they raised the remaining stones to their place by means of machines formed of short wooden planks. The first machine raised them from the ground to the top of the first step. On this step, there was another machine which received the stone upon its arrival and conveyed it to the second step whence a third machine advanced it still higher. Either they had as many machines as there were steps in the pyramid or possibly they had but a single machine which being easily moved was transferred from tier to tier as the stone rose. Both accounts are given and therefore deserve a mention in this video. The upper portion of the pyramid was finished first, then the middle and finally the part which was lowest and nearest to the ground. Herodotus further states in his work that there is an inscription in Egyptian character on the pyramid which records the quantity of radishes, onions and garlic consumed by the laborers who constructed it. And it is well known that the interpreter who read the writing said that the money expended in this way was 1,600 talents of silver. Herodotus is believed to have obtained these details from priests during his visit to ancient Egypt. Whether or not these actual machines or devices were real and whether or not they helped to build the Great Pyramids remains a profound mystery since archaeologists have not unearthed evidence of such devices anywhere in Egypt. It also remains a mystery whether or not such similar devices were used in the construction of earlier pyramids, such as the Step Pyramids, the Benz Pyramids or the Red Pyramids. Other than the histories, there aren't other literary resources that mention the pyramids and how they were built and with what means. What is your view on this? Please remember to drop a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest on archaeology, ancient history news, mysteries and world mythology. Thank you for watching, see you next time.